Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com, new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 19624 for Windows Insiders on Fastring. And like many recent builds, there's not a huge amount of changes uh, with this release, but there are some fixes. So let's have a look at the main changes first. Do you remember on a couple of builds ago, the, the Microsoft changed the default app feature. So you could uh, go into the box, type an extension like, P doc, top, like PDF, and it would bring up all the applications that would um, could handle PDF and you could search for them and reallocate them and you could search for .mp3 or whatever. They've removed that search screen because it was really weird how it searched. It had like visual overlays and it, you know, the performance was really bad. So they've taken that out. I think they've just, they say temporarily disabling it. So I think they'll bring that back when they fix the performance issues. The other thing that they've changed is their uh, VPN logic. So if you disconnect from a VPN, um, it will now uncheck the option to auto connect. So if you manually uh, disconnect a VPN, it will automatically reconnect. Another setting is on, oh, it's just a, a wording is on, another change is just on wording. They are, they've added on the Bluetooth some of the change of the, di of the text dialog to make it a bit clearer on the added device part. So it says like controllers and things like that. And there's one other change which is in the optional update screen. So if you get an optional update, you can copy and paste the text so then you can you can search for it or whatever. So that's the changes. The rest are all fixes. They fixed an, um, an issue with some uh, flickering. They fixed the IS issue that was um, around on a few builds. They fixed the um, Linux file explorer bug uh, you had, if you open file explorer you have the linux icon and if you kept crashing it clicking on it, it would crash the os i don't have linux subsystem installed on this machine i've got the other one so but uh, i did see that myself uh, they fixed some issues with settings and uh, they with the volume they fixed the battery icon issue uh, on the lock screen that's been around for a while and um they would they fix the windows hello logging in and not dismissing the screen um, they fix some bluetooth issues some app connection issues some update issues uh, the deadlock issues as well so what i think they've fixed really is all the issues that seem to have been around a long time so while this build doesn't have many new features a lot of the fixes are bugs that have been for in this list for for quite a while there are still some known issues which has actually shrunk quite a bit because of these fixes um, still the narrator issue there's still the issue of um, the update hanging for an, uh, a long period of time there's a there's still an issue potentially with updating this error um, with a 049 error which I think I've seen actually on this machine when I was trying to install it um, and uh, but I did get the build installed eventually and there's still an issue with an icon for the privacy settings so that's all the changes with this build not much UI changes, but um, a lot of fix, uh, fixes in this. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on our YouTube channel on digitallifestyle.com. I'm at iStix on Twitter if you want to get in touch there. Uh, we've got more videos on our YouTube channel with how-to guides and what's new in the May 2020 update, new changes for Windows Mixed Reality and all sorts of stuff like that. So thanks for watching.